Uh, first, we've got to get to uh, new questions about what some are calling the most dramatic testimony yet in the January 6th investigation. A former White House aide, Cassidy Hutchinson, testifying under oath about former President Trump's behavior on January 6th. But now one of her claims is being disputed. Hutchinson says that she heard secondhand that Mr. Trump lunged at a Secret Service agent on January 6th, but did not see that happen herself. In fact, it happened inside of a vehicle. Uh, now News Nation has learned that two Secret Service agents who were part of his security detail, they're willing to testify, saying that what she has claimed never, ever happened. Joe Khalil live on Capitol Hill with that and more of Hutchinson's uh, so-called revelations. Joe? Adrian, good morning. Uh, Hutchinson's testimony certainly paints a pretty chaotic picture of the White House around January 6th. She leveled some pretty stark allegations at the former president and some of his allies, including that he knew people in the mob were armed and still encouraged them to go to the Capitol. But there's that moment that you've described, that secondhand account, Adrian, that story now being disputed by people who were actually in that car. Some of the most damning testimony yet in the January 6th hearings from Cassidy Hutchinson, former aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, who had a front row seat inside the West Wing in the days leading up to and on January 6th. Hutchinson testified she heard secondhand that inside his armored SUV, a furious President Trump, angry Secret Service wouldn't drive him to the Capitol, tried to grab the wheel, followed by this. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. That account now under dispute. And it's an allegation Aaron under oath that, that the former president and News Nation has learned the agents involved deny. Trump posting her fake story that I tried to grab the wheel of the White House limousine in order to steer it to the Capitol building is sick and fraudulent, very much like the unselect committee itself wouldn't even have been possible to do such a ridiculous thing. Hutchinson also painted a picture of a chaotic White House leading up to January 6th. Sounds like we're going to go to the Capitol. He didn't look up from his phone and said something to the effect of, there's a lot going on, Cass, but I don't know. Things might get real, real bad on January 6th. Hutchinson testified the White House counsel, her boss, Mark Meadows, and the president all knew the potential for violence before January 6th. Among the most serious allegations she leveled, that President Trump pressed his Secret Service to wave armed protesters through metal detectors near the White House to make his crowd size look bigger, and knowing they were armed, called for them to head to the Capitol anyway. President Trump publicly questioned Hutchinson's credibility during the hearing. Posting, quote, I hardly knew who this person, Cassidy Hutchinson, is, other than I heard very negative things about her, a total phony and a leaker. And when she requested to go with certain others of the team to Florida, after my having served a full term in office, I personally turned her request down. Why did she want to go with us if she felt we were so terrible? So we don't know when, Adrian, but we have confirmed that those two Secret Service agents at the heart of that story inside the limousine are willing to come testify uh, to that account not actually happening. Uh, Hutchinson also testified to a number of other things, including that her former boss, Mark Meadows, and Rudy Giuliani uh, wanted to get pardons from this White House and that she heard that President Trump sided with the rioters who were saying that Mike Pence should be hanged. Both of those things we heard during her testimony. And Joe, I know you've been working hard on this story all morning long. We're getting a little more context. Uh, you've been speaking to your sources about these Secret Service agents willing to testify. What are they telling you? So I got some important context, Adrian, from a source that I have close to the Secret Service who said essentially, yes, they are willing to come testify about this incident, but that it's even more significant because it is incredibly rare. The Secret Service as an agency typically doesn't greenlight their agents publicly testifying in this way because part of their job is to maintain a closeness and a privacy with the president or whomever else that they're testifying. They don't want to appear as if, you know, they are doing something that violates that trust in any way. So the fact that they're going to be able to do this and the agency is giving these agents their blessing is certainly significant, I think, adds to the broader story here of what they're about to do. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Thank
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.